Welcome back. Today we're going to make something that looks like a coffee mug. I'm going to do this by first using a standard primitive cylinder to create the cup. Then I'll do a loft to create the handle. And then I'll just boolean those together. And uh, you can see some of the pros and cons of that. Then I'll also just use the standard primitive for the cup again. But then I'll extrude along a spline, one of the uh, polygons to create the handle. I'll also show you how to use lathe to create the cup. So let's get started. So first I'm going to just make a cylinder, just going to um, eyeball that, and then um, my sides are 16 right now, that should be okay, um, I think I'm going to center that, and now I'm going to sketch my uh, handle, let me blow this up. So I'm going to go over to splines right here. I'm going to click on line. I'm going to make it smooth. You can change this later. I'm just going to start it out as smooth. And then I'm just going to just eyeball my geometry. And if I wanted to modify that, I didn't like the way it came out. I'm just going to click on it and go over to modify. Then open this up and then go to vertex. And then I can just click on one of these vertices and I can move it around. Or if I right click, I can change it from smooth corner to bezier. Now I'm going to create my cross section. I'll just do a circle. That should be okay. I want to just grab on my handle again. And then I'm going to go back to compound object. Loft, and I'm going to get shape because I'm holding on to the path, and just click my circle, and now I have sort of like a handle, and I just want to make sure that's aligned, and um, you know, maybe I'll just move it up in a little bit on the top too, Oops, wrong button, you can always undo on this, pick this, and move it, and then I just want to make sure it intersects. And like here, if you didn't like the way it turned out, you can play around with scale. But that looks okay. And I see here my left view is centered, and my front view looks okay. So now what I'm going to do is just uh, boolean them together. There's also a pro boolean you see here. It's pretty similar to boolean. I haven't seen any advantage of using pro boolean except for if I want to do a lot of things at once. So I'm just going to hit boolean. I'm going to hit union. I'm going to add it to this. And now I'm just going to right click, convert to edible poly. Blow this view up. Now I'm going to select the top polygon. I want to use inset, it's like offset. Let's make this a little bigger. And hit OK. Now, let me get some maps. I'm going to hit extrude. Extrude, you can add or remove material. I want to go the other way. And I'm looking at the front view to see how far down to go. And that should be okay. And uh, that's it. We just made a cup. Now, the downside of using Boolean I've encountered, let me blow this up again, is it's not very friendly to turbo smooth. Um, go to Turbo Smooth. But you'll see by the uh, handles here, no matter what I do, if I play around with chamfer or just name it, it's just uh, not going to be very pleasant. I'm going to delete that. Um, the Turbo Smooth, if you um, need to break up, you sort of have to think a little bit in advance, um, breaking your geometry up. You saw how it got very rounded there. So even if I did something like, let me select the edge, let me select this edge, and I can go around and pick uh, each edge, but I'm going to hit loop, and it picks them all at once. And you can do something like chamfer, that um, can help up with your curvature for turbo smoothing. If I chamfered a lot of these edges, um, 
nothing's going to help the side here. But, you know, if you want to make it look a little better just as it is right now, you might want to just add a bunch of chamfers to these edges. And, um, yeah. If, um, I think. You can also try to do turbo smooth ahead of time. Let's see this. On your cylinder, you could have just created this. And um, you just want to make sure this is broken up enough. If you're going to use Turbo Smooth, we'll right click. Enrich Edible Poly. And then you can add Turbo Smooth to this. And then do your handle. But you'll see, you know, that'll have its own set of issues. Like grabbing your top here to do your inset. It's not going to be fun. You can do that. And then you might also be tempted if you look through some of the uh your options here. There's one called where are you? Can't find it. No, I'm on the okay. There's one called attach. So if you try to use attach to bring this and that handle together. When uh, you go to use inset, it's not going to cut through this and make that edge. Your handle is going to be sort of sticking out inside this cup here. So you're going to have to individually grab those polygons and like push them out. It's more like a grouping. It doesn't really like mix things together. And you know, for the handle, you could also do things like, you know, let me get back home. You can use, uh, instead of just a lock, you can use modifiers for your handle. You can get kind of creative. So let's say, let me, do that. let me just draw something new. So let's just do a box. So I can right click, actually make sure this is broken up a bit or bend isn't going to work. Okay, that should be okay. So I'm going to right click. Convert to edible poly. And then let's say you can do like a twist. That's crazy. Twist it. And then you could add a bend. So you can get kind of creative with your handle and then just attach with bullion. But if you want it to be nice and turbo smooth, Boolean is not the way to go. So let's delete this. So let's uh, extrude along a spline. Let's draw another cylinder. And I'm going to move that to the center. And then, let me just check where my handle is. I'll show you two ways to do the handle. Like, you could do the same the inset trick I did. And, um, you could also do a bridge. Actually, let me just not break this cylinder up that much. Let's have one. We'll keep 16 sides. And let me move this. That should work. So first, if you look, let's zoom in again. My uh, polygon, or it's not going to be in the center. You see right here, it's at a, um, it's off at an angle, and if I try to do the extrude along a spline, it's just going to uh, come off at an angle. So what I need to do is rotate this. You may not have to, depending on how many segments you broke it up into. So I'm just going to grab this. And I'm going to rotate it to be 360 divided by 16 divided by 2. Okay, so now that it's going to be centered. Now I also need to break it up. Let me first right click. Make this edible poly. I need to break up uh, this so I can have a segment to extrude on. So I'm going to use 
Blake's plane. Let's grab an edge. So slice plane. And I'm just going to bring that up. You might have to rotate this. It may not default how you want it. So you would just, you know, rotate it, the, the plane. And then I'm going to slice. And then I'm going to slice again. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, that should be okay. Now I'm going to grab my polygon and I'm going to extrude along spline. I'm going to pick my spline. And yeah, it's okay. I mean, you could eventually go back and hit on vertex and start moving, you know, points around. You know, if you just pick these guys, you know, you could give it that taper. You can flare the cup with the points, just moving them around. But, we gotta finish this up. Okay, I've selected the polygon. Now I'm gonna use inset. Inset's like an offset. I'm gonna hit OK. Now I'm gonna hit extrude. And I'm going to extrude into my cup. So now, I'm going back to Turbo Smooth. This is still less than ideal. You see, it's, it's uh, not great by the bottom handle. Let me, uh, let me hide that. And even if I went back and grab the edge, and I started, blow this up so you can see it. And if loop isn't working for you, sometimes it'll happen to me. I'll hit the, the bottom face here. And, uh, I'll hit control. And then it'll kind of shift to the next thing. So I can do a chamfer here. And on the inside. And it's still not going to be ideal by the bottom of my handle. So what I'm going to show you now, um, is bridging this together. So let's, uh, Let's undo. Look how far back I can go. Ooh, I'm not pretty far. Okay. So now let's modify my handle so it's not going all the way in. Let's go to my front view if I can see. And I'm going to grab my handle. You know, you can't grab it if you're in one of these points. I do this all the time. You have to go back to Edible Poly. And then you grab this. I'm obviously at the 3S Max hacker level. I don't use this program every day. So I'm going to move this point out. So it's not touching. This one doesn't matter as much. I might move it up a little. Ah, it'll be okay. Let me in a little. Okay. Let's go back to slicing our planes. I'm gonna grab this. Not a little bit poly. And I'm going to grab that edge again. And I'm going to slice my plane. I'm going to bring this up. Slice. Bring it down. Slice again. And then i got to approximate the bottom. Ah, that should be okay. Now I gotta select my polygon. I'm going to extrude along spline. And that should be okay. Now I want to pick this face and delete it. I'm gonna rotate this. 
and delete this one. Now I just have to bridge these edges, so I'm going to grab edge. And then grab this. Then control click this. And just hit bridge. And you just do that going around. If you select the wrong thing, hit undo. Sometimes I'll try to like uh, click away or click something else and then I'm selecting things I don't want to select. Don't be afraid of the undo button. Yeah, it's so hard for me to rotate in this compared to SolidWorks. I guess because uh, I'm a Max hacker. Okay, now let's cut through the top. Same thing, we're going to do insets. Make that a little bigger. Okay. Go ahead and extrude. And I want to extrude down. Now let's do terrible smooth first. Let's uh, chamfer some more edges. It'll look a lot nicer. You can't get the inside, it'll definitely help. Hitting control, and then I hit edge after I hit the face there. Can't do this too. Click the polygon, hit control, hit edge. Now I'm going to turbo smooth. And I think it looks okay. No, you definitely want to play around with the handle a little bit to move those edges around. But it's kind of like a mug. You know, Camtasia really slows this computer down. I've got to apologize. It's not bad. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do a lathe to do the top. Wait a second, this. Okay, now let's be late. So let's go back to the sunshine looking button. This is my four views. I'm going to draw on the front plane. I'm going to go back to my curves. I'm going to just use a line. This time I'm going to keep it corner. And I'm going to put some snaps on. Make my life easy. Actually, before I even do that, let me just delete this, that to line, corner, have my snaps on, you can also hit shift while you're moving things if you want to keep your line straight, make it much fine, now if I want to modify this, I can do the same thing. You can just go to Vertex, move your points around. I like to add my fillets in here. So I'll just grab a point. And then I'll fillet it. Take the inside. Fillet. Flex both top on. Fillet. Ugh. Maybe just move these over a little bit. Snap off. Ah, let's keep it. So now I'm going to modify this. So I'm going down to my modifier list. 
And there's one called Lave. It's never going to look how you want it to. You just kind of click through these so it looks right. Turn on Welt Core. You'll thank me later. Flip Normals. Um, we'll have to check. We'll render this and we'll see if it looks okay. And you'll notice here that this pivot point is not in the center, which drives me nuts. Because if you want to do that extrude along spline, and you want to rotate this to make sure everything's working, it's going to be off. So I just go to this hierarchy button here, effective only, centered object, and uh, things work out when I do that. Let's go back here. So if I let me blow this up, and we'll render it to see if our normals are okay. So you just hit this render button. If it's the normals are the right direction, it'll look solid. If they're the wrong direction, it'll be looking like we can speed through this. So it looks okay to me. And uh, that's the beginning with the cup. If you want to do the extrude along spline, just make sure this is in the right orientation. And now that we have it centered, it'll be easy for you to rotate. And um, yeah, you're good to go. You can lay this great because you can draw some complex geometries pretty quickly. So, um, hmm. trying to think about my next video. I think I want to do a surfboard. So, I'll see you soon.